Hi, welcome to the section of cardiology. This is Dr. Jaitley. In this section, I'll be talking to you about a very commonly asked question, what is mitral valve prolapse? Well, it is a textural abnormality that the person actually has it since birth, but manifests in early adulthood. And that texture in the mitral valve is so, so uh, somewhat more floppy, if you will. That means normally the valves, they close tight. When the left ventricle contracts, the mitral valve will close as a tight, uh, uh, two, two tight leaflets. So this way, no blood regurgitates back into the left atrium. Whereas in mitral valve prolapse, the texture is such that they're a little more floppy, like the sail of a ship, or they're more flail, if you will. And if they're flail, they tend to bulge into the left atrium like this, like the purple ones that I've shown up here. So these are mitral valve prolapses. This is, of course, is a normal valve in the open position. But as the ventricle is contracting, what will happen is blood is going up in the aorta. But because these valves leaflets are a little more floppy, they tend to bulge into the left atrium. Now, there's a criteria that anything more than two millimeters and over, if they bulge into the left atrium, that's considered as echocardiographic diagnostic criteria for mitral valve prolapse or MVP as it's called. By the way, just so that you know, it's one of those very common condition. It occurs almost in three to five percent of the population, chiefly in young females. But when it occurs in a man, it's more progressive, just so that you know. So mitral valve prolapse is a texturally abnormal floppy valve that exists in some young females between the age of 15 to 40. That's when it manifests most. And invariably, patients have a little click or a systolic heart murmur because of the blood regurgitating back into the left atrium with each beat. Patients usually present with atypical chest pain. That means the pain that could be while sitting or patients will be, it'll be annoying pain lasting all day, for instance, or sometimes the pain is referred to the left side of the chest, not necessarily like the, like the pain one would see in a typical angina or heart attack where it is more of a tightness and a pressure in the center of the chest. So it's an atypical chest pain. Patients present with palpitations, shortness of breath, anxiety. They're very anxious um, um, patients. And they are at times reported to have dizziness and even lightheadedness. Sometimes a syncope can occur. Um, very rarely a sudden death has been reported because of an arrhythmia, a life-threatening arrhythmia. But arrhythmias are common. Now here, if you look at this right side of the panel, the EKG is showing normal beat, normal beat, normal beat, normal beat. Here it's going very rapid, normal, 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 but very rapid. But then it becomes slow. And then you have beat, 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 beat. So these are irregular beats. So the irregular beats can manifest from the left atrium. And sometimes they could be supraventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, and APCs, those are the common arrhythmias that one sees. And we'll be discussing that in a different video presentation. But just so that you know, uh, at this point, concurrently uh, mentioned those conditions. But the fact is that we are discussing only mitral valve prolapse here, which is a texturally abnormal floppy valve condition resulting into a heart murmur and a click. Because the click, click implies that the valve is stretched. Um, because of the leaflets being attached or anchored by these cordae, that are cordae and tendinae within the structure of the left ventricle, which are anchoring these valve leaflets. So, so just so that you know, there is a leak of valve. We call it a leak of the valve into the left atrium, and that results into a regurgitation as well. So it's a common condition, very, you know, very commonly seen in internal medicine or in cardiology uh, clinics and uh, usually diagnosed clinically or by the 2D criteria I just pointed out. Okay, and uh, there are good medicines that treat the condition. Sometimes it's very progressive, then you have to repair the valve or replace the valve. And we'll talk about that more in detail at a later time. Okay, in the echo, of course, uh, the criteria I just said, here's the echocardiography criteria where there is a two millimeter upward bulge of the left atrial leaflets, uh, sorry, the mitral valve leaflets into the left atrium. If that occurs, then you define the criteria by 2D echo. Okay. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next.